नमस्कार आई एम डी वेलकम यू इन इट्स डेली वेदर ब्रीफिंग प्रोग्राम टूडे इज ट्वेंटी सिक्स नवंबर ए बी सी एस्टरडे इज रियलाइज वेदर हैवी टू वेरी वेन फॉल रिपोर्टेड ओवर तमिलनाडु एट वन और टू स्टेशन एंड हैवी रेन फॉल रिपोर्टेड ओवर केरला एंड मध्य महाराष्ट्र सेवनटीन सेंटीमीटर रिपोर्टेड रेनफॉल इन कटलव डिस्ट्रिक्ट इन तमिलनाडु एंड ऑफ द ऑर्डर ऑफ एट और सेवन सेंटीमीटर रिपोर्टेड इन मध्य महाराष्ट्र एंड केरला हैवी रेनफॉल ऑल्सो रिपोर्टेड ओवर अंडमान निकोबार आइलैंड टूडे ए बी सी Today's highlights for next five days. We can say that under the influence of different weather systems, including active western disturbance and its associated induced cyclone circulation, and trough in easterlies and cyclone circulation over northeast Arabian Sea and adjoining areas of Saurashtra Kutch, there are a uh, favorable chances for uh, good uh, bad weather, including thunderstorm, lightning, heavy rainfall, and hailstorm activity over western parts of the country, central parts of the country, and also over northwest India, especially over Gujarat, northern parts of Konkan, northern parts of Madhya Maharashtra, Marathwada, southeast Rajasthan, southwest Madhya Pradesh, and on 27th and 28th, there is a possibility of heavy rainfall, including thunderstorm, hailstorm activity over Vidarbha. So we can say that during the next two days, weather is likely to be bad over these regions. If we see that today's synoptic systems, we can see that there is a western disturbance roughly over Afghanistan region, uh, over 64 degree east and 15 degree north, and adjoining region. And there is a cyclone circulation, a new cyclone circulation over central Pakistan, adjoining southwest Rajasthan. And there is a trough runs from southwest Arabian Sea to northeast Arabian Sea. And uh, there is a cyclone circulation, embedded cyclone circulation over northeast Arabian Sea and adjoining south and Kutch coasts. And there is a cyclone circulation over central parts of North Madhya Pradesh, which is shown here. And there is a cyclone circulation over northwest Bay of Bengal, adjoining coastal areas of West Bengal and Odisha. And there is a cyclone circulation over South and One Sea and adjoining Thailand region. And under the influence of this cyclone circulation, there is a possibility of uh, uh, likely formation of a low pressure area over uh, South Andaman, Southeast Bay of Bengal around. Uh, 27th of November and it is likely to move west northwestwards and intensify into a depression over southeast Bay Bengal around 29th of November. So this is the uh, forecast for this system. So we can say that this system is likely to intensify into this depression around 29th over southeast Bay Bengal. IMD regularly monitoring this system and the updates are available on our website mosum.imd.gov.in and also over social media platforms including Facebook and Twitter. And if we see Five days weather warnings, as already mentioned in the highlights, that there is, there is good possibility of bad weather, uh, including uh, Gujarat, Rajasthan, Madhya Pradesh, Maharashtra. So, for during the next 24 hours, heavy to very very rainfall is expected over Gujarat region, heavy rainfall is expected over eastern parts of Rajasthan, western parts of Madhya Pradesh, northern parts of Konkan, northern parts of uh, Madhya Maharashtra, and Marathwada. And heavy rainfall is also likely over. Tamil Nadu and Andaman Nicobar Islands during next 24 hours. If we see the weather map for 27th, you will see that this activity will shift further eastwards and uh, there is a possibility of thunderstorm, lightning and hailstorm over Madhya Pradesh and uh, over uh, Bidharva and uh, Marathwa region on 27th and heavy rainfall is also expected over Bidharva on 27th. As regards western Himal region, so thund uh, thunderstorm activity with hailstorm is also expected over Uttarakhand on 27th. On 28th, this activity will reduce. However, uh, isolated heavy rainfall is expected over Vidarbha on 28th. And uh, under the influence of likely formation of low pressure area, there is a possibility of increase of rainfall activity over Andaman Nicobar Islands on 28th. Accordingly, heavy to very heavy rainfall is expected over Andaman Nicobar Islands on 28th and 29th. On 30th, there is no weather warning issued for any, any parts of the country. However, heavy rainfall likely to continue over Andaman Nicobar Islands. However, there is a possibility of reduction on, 20, uh, on 30th of November. So, we can summarize there is a, uh, there is a possibility of thunderstorm, lightning, hailstorm, and heavy rainfall over Gujarat, Rajasthan, Madhya Pradesh, and northern parts of Maharashtra during next 24 hours, and thereafter over Vidarbha region and Madhya Pradesh region, and also over Uttarakhand. And as regards heavy rainfall, this heavy rainfall activity likely to continue over Andaman Nicobar Islands during next five days, heavy to very heavy rainfall, and over Tamil Nadu during next 24 hours. If we see the fisherman burning, so under the influence of uh, uh, squally weather, uh, uh, fisherman burning has been issued for uh, Gujarat coast during next 24 hours, and uh, thereafter from day two, uh, this uh, fisherman burning has been issued for South Andaman Sea 
and uh, from day 3 southeast bay of bengal and uh, on day 5 southwest bay of bengal so accordingly the highlighted regions where fisherman burning has been issued fisherman burning are advised not to venture into these areas so this is uh, all about today's briefing we will update again tomorrow with updated information till then namaskar jai hind jai bharat